Okay, so I'm going to record this meeting. I'm doing Zoom for the first time. I don't know if I like how it records, but whatever, we'll figure it out. Um, here is my screen so you guys can uh, follow what I'm about to say. Um, what I want to talk about here is a special factoring situation. We'll start with a difference of squares. So you guys need to know your special factoring with a difference of squares. And in order to know how to um, basically factor a difference of squares, you need to know where it comes from. So here, ooh, what? can't draw straight lines, guys. So this is your general formula. A difference of squares comes from a product of two binomials, which have the same two terms, but the sign in the middle uh, uh, cancels. So I'll show you. So it ends up with a difference, which is, which is subtraction of two squared terms. So I'll show you where it comes from, and then we'll go backwards into factoring. So imagine I have x plus 3 times x minus 3. So I have two binomials that I'm multiplying, and they have the same two terms. It's just the sign in the middle is different. One is positive, one is negative. So this is a product of binomials, which means I'm allowed to FOIL. So I'm going to show you the whole process. My first is x squared. My outer is minus 3x. My inner is positive 3x. And my last is negative 9. And what I want to show you is the outer and inner part, they become the same term, but opposite signs. And the reason that happens is because the two terms here and the two terms here are the same. So you're going to end up with that situation every time this happens. Every time I have a product of binomials, that have the same two numbers or same two terms with the sign in the middle canceling those outer and inner portions of FOIL. So you end up with something squared minus something squared, which three squared is nine. So you end up with a difference subtraction of two squared cases. So if you wanna go in the opposite direction, right? That's what factoring is. Start with um, whatever it is you have here. In this case, this is a binomial, a special binomial factoring it going back into what was multiplied to give me that binomial. So if I notice that it's a difference of squares, like x squared is a squared case, nine is a squared case, I could write it like this, something squared minus something squared, then it might be a difference of squares. More than likely it is. What goes here? Well, whatever was squared, in this case x, is here and here. And whatever was squared to get nine, which is three in this case, goes here and here. One is positive and one is negative. If I multiply this out, I'll get x squared minus nine. So you can always verify if you're factoring correctly, because if you multiply it out, you should end up with what you started with. So a difference of squares is created from a product of two binomials that have the same two terms but the sign in the middle is different. It creates this difference of two squared cases because your outer and inner um, situation from FOIL cancels. So let's practice factoring difference, a different difference of squared cases. They can get interesting, um, but let's just, here, we'll factor. I'll start nice and easy. So let's do x squared minus 16. So I'm gonna start by writing this every time and then I'm gonna end up not doing this part, but I notice that it's a difference. It has to be subtraction. It has to be two terms. And it has to be something squared minus something squared. And I could rewrite this as x squared minus four squared, which means that it follows that difference of squared pattern. So that means that it'll factor into two binomials where I have an x and an x, and then a four and a four. One is plus and one is minus. And here is my factored case. Now. I'm not sure, right? I'm not sure I factored it correctly. Let me check the first couple and make sure that I get, you know, get the hang of this. If I multiply this out, right, here's my check. I should be able to multiply this out and get this x squared minus 16. So let's see, foil, x times x is x squared. Outer, negative 4x. Inner, positive 4x. And last, negative 16. And the outer and inner part cancels, and I get x squared minus 16. So it worked. Therefore, I factored it correctly. So I'm not going to, you know, always check my work, but I wanted to show you that you can. If you multiply it out, 
you should get what, what you started with, which means that you should never factor in correctly because you can always check it. Um, but let's practice another situation. Let's do x squared minus um, 25. Can I write it as a difference of two squared faces? Yes, I could write it as something squared. In this case, x squared minus something squared, five squared, because five squared is 25. I'm not technically changing the actual representation. I'm just changing how it looks. I'm not changing the actual expression, but because it follows this pattern, that means that I could factor it, an x and an x, a five and a five, a plus and a minus, and I'm done. Now these can get uglier. Um, for example, let's say that I have nine a squared minus 16 b squared. So I can, I can get uglier, but it's the same idea. Is it a difference of two squared cases? Can I represent it as something squared minus something squared? Well, nine a squared can be represented as three a, the quantity squared, right? Because three squared is nine, a squared is a squared. And 16b squared can be represented as 4b, the quantity squared. So this represents the same expression as that, but the reason I wrote it this way is so that I can say, all right, it follows this pattern. It is a difference of squares, which means I can factor it and into two binomials. The first terms of the binomials is 3a and 3a, and then 4b and 4b, and a plus and a minus and I'm done. If I want to check it, multiply it out and see if I get the same thing. Um, let's do one more. Let me see how ugly I can get. 49 um, m squared minus, I don't know, 100 n squared factor. Now you're going to have to get used to recognizing when you have a difference of squares, because it's going to be combined into other, uh, you know, factoring scenarios. But I see a binomial, I see a difference, I see some squared and something squared. So I'm going to say, well, can I represent it? I might need some more space. Can I represent it in this way where I have something squared minus something squared? What would go in the parentheses? Well, 49 is a perfect square. Seven squared is 49. So seven M will go in here. And then 100 is a perfect square. So I can also say 10 and here. And this is the same expression as what I started with, just represented in such a way that now it makes it easy to go into my factored case, 7m are my first terms, and 10n is my second. And then the first is plus, and the second is minus, and here's my factored case. A difference of squares is very important, but again, you're gonna to have to recognize it within other factoring cases, but how do you recognize it? Do I have two terms? Is it a difference? And can they be represented as perfect squares on the outside? I have a difference of squares if that's the case.